fellas, it's your pal Paxton here. Hope you guys are doing well on this fine day, on this fine Saturday. Um, it's the weekend, friends. And the weekend is to do something other than work. So I hope you guys can go out there and enjoy doing something today other than work. Because that's the, what the weekends are for. Amen? Amen. Um, today, what we're going to be talking about today is an important topic that I just want to remind you guys of, of if you guys are Christians and if you guys are not Christians um, you, I'll extend this offer to you at the end to accept Christ and hopefully this can become a new reality for you if you're not a Christian because I pray, that's my prayer that you guys can, this can become a reality and this is my prayer for you if you are a Christian that you can lean into your identity in Christ because that's so important to remind ourselves Especially in this world that we're going through right now with this pandemic and with all these crazy stuff with the government. I pray that we can lean, lean into our identity in Christ. Amen? So I put four verses that we're going to be talking about today. And before we jump in, I just want to say, you are loved as you are. Don't think that you have to go out there and change for anyone. Because God accepts you as you are. Amen, friends? Well, let's jump in. Grab your coffee, water, something to drink, and let's dig into scripture. Amen? Well, today's first verse comes from Romans 15, verse 7. You will bring God glory when you accept and welcome one another as partners, just as the Anointed One has fully accepted you and received you as His partner. Friends, simple as put, we will bring God glory when we accept one another as our part to know. That's part of our identity in Christ, accepting people. Amen? Simple as put, we just have to go out there and accept people. Accept people. Amen? The second verse comes from 1 John 3, 1 through 2. Look with wonder at the depths of the Father's marvelous love that he has lavished on us. He has called us and made us his very own beloved children. The reason the world didn't recognize him didn't recognize didn't recognize who we are is that they didn't recognize him. Beloved, we are God's children. Right now, however, it is not the yet apparent what we will become but we do know that when it is finally made visible we will be just like him for we will see him as he truly is friends God lavished his love upon us and he did set us apart and it's not visible right now who we are going to become but when it is visible We'll be just like him. And that's part of our identity in Christ. That we will be like him. And that we will rec um, um, And that we will demonstrate his love to, the, to a broken, fallen world. Amen? The third verse comes from John 15, 16. You didn't cho choose me, but I chose and commissioned you to go into the world to bear fruit and your fruit will last because whatever you ask of my father for my sake the will will give it to you to you John 15 16 friends I pray that you can recognize that God didn't that you didn't choose choose me but God chose you amen that's why God came because we were so in all sinful paths that God had to come. Praise be to God for that. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. So I pray that because God chose us, that we will go out there and tell people about him, about the good news. Amen, friends and family? The last verse comes from Hebrews 4, verse 16. So now we come freely and boldly to where love 
is enthroned, to receive mercy's kiss, and to discover the grace we urgently need to strengthen us in our time of weakness. Friends, I hope we can, and, and I pray that we can come and receive the grace and the love of God, because that's our identity in Christ. If we didn't have that grace, I don't know where we would, where we would be right now if we didn't have the grace of God. Praise be to God that He gives us identity in Him, and He reminds us who we are. Because we need to be reminded. So I hope you guys are reminded of who you are in Christ, and I hope you guys can go out there and remind others of who they are in Christ, other brothers in Christ and sisters in Christ. Amen? Now I want to send an offer to you who are not Christians, that you will come to Christ, and that you will set your mind upon Christ. All you have to do, friends, to accept Christ is simply pray this prayer of salvation. It goes like this. God, I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose from the dead to save me from my sins. Father, please forgive me. I surrender my life to you fully. I'm all yours, Jesus. Please come into my life. Amen. Friends, if you pray that prayer of salvation for the first time, you're in God's family. So I welcome you a part of God's family if you pray that prayer of salvation. If you, if you did, I would like to encourage you to let me know in the comments below or on one of my social media pages. I'd love to talk to you more about what the choice that, and the commitment that you guys just made. And if you didn't accept Christ, I encourage you to come to him. Because he's waiting with his arms wide open. Amen? Friends, if you did accept Christ, that's all you have to do. It's not saying, oh, I got to go find this job, do this. No. It's about believing fully. <laughs> Just in your heart. Amen? Friends, if you guys were all encouraged by this video, I encourage you to go out there and share it with someone that needs to hear this truth. Until next time, friends, keep cross number one, and have a great day. Peace.